Ah. Hello! Welcome to Dino Dragon Games. I'm your host, Dino Dragon. Hope you get your snacks. Today, we're going to be learning about how to make dinosaurs. In fact, I'm going to update this avatar. So, um, we going to... So, it will be like the way I've been showing. Anyways. Um, so, this is VR Chat and everything about this game, 90% of the content is made by other players. Though, you'll be... And you have to do that from outside of uh, VR Chat, but don't worry, it's very easy. This is assume that you would have a model already, uh, whether you make it yourself or get it somewhere else, whatever you would like to get models from. And this is going to, to teach you how to set up the rig so it can work properly and, um, it, and it'll be normal. Anyways, I will see you in Blender right about now. Alright, so I'm here in Blender and I have wireframe uh, turned on and we have this simple uh, dinosaur that I've made and I will show you how it was made. Um, after you make the model or whatever you do to acquire a dinosaur model, uh, you make the skeleton as you would normally do. This would not be a tutorial on Blender per se, just assume you already know uh, basically for navigating, selecting, extruding and stuff. So, uh, if you want to know how to work Blender, that's a different tutorial. But, um, anyways, um, what we got here is uh, various phone names. We got, uh, uh, we got various phones that kind of got two different types of skeletons, but they're actually one skeleton. This is a skeleton that looks like we got the hips, spine, uh, chest, neck, neck and head. And the purpose of these bones is that we're going to apply rotation restraints on the game community. And I can show you about that. About that. <clears throat> and this is simply a uh, 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 the bones that you see here are mimicking the bones over here. In fact, the bones have a different name over here. This is called uh, spine dot D, uh, spine D and chest D, head D, and um, head. And of course, you get the legs and stuff. So what we so, uh, I'm going to do a simple like that. And these bones, they got the skeleton and the hip hurts like that. And, um, and I will, I guess I'm done showing you her uh, Unity. And then I will show you, I, I'm not here showing at you at Blender, my bad. Uh, I will show you at Unity and I will show you how I made the rest of it. All right. Final note, if the dinosaur has arms, uh, you gotta have that in IT pose, uh, similar to the uh, human arms. Otherwise, it will look weird in the final product. All right. All right, so we are in Unity, and uh, when you do that, and we're going to take a model, select that, and what you do when you place it in, uh, you go to uh, select, and then you uh, hit rig and you turn, set the armature type to humanoid and you hit apply and then you configure it and what we got is uh, uh, when you get in there you gotta make sure because it's likely not going to be the, like the, what we see here um, it's going to look a bit off so uh, so, uh, what you're going to do is make sure when you are uh, doing the armature, you only put the non D bone. So, the bone, this will be like neck D, then head D, and spine D. And you don't want those to be uh, activated or mapped. You want the bones that are. Uh, 
you want the bones that are exclusive that are like the uh the legs and the feet and these these bones up here which are non deep bones these are like uh spine chest and you got neck and head and the rest and so you want to uh, simply put the correct bones in the right slot. Uh, you put the neck, you put the chest into the chest, you put the, the, the other bones, and you fit it that way. All you do is take like chest, neck, spine, hips, and you put them in the right spot. So you would put the, make sure you have the hips in hips, you have uh, spine in spine, you would have chest and chest, you would have neck and neck and neck, and you have head and head, and you would have the uh, right shoulder, right arm, like right upper arm, right left, right lower arm, and you would have the hand. And uh, you would do that for the left one. And by the way, these are all the uh, parts that are not with uh, letter D, with, uh, without a D, uh, or whatever letter you want to put in there. In here, so, and you would do that, and make sure you have a thumb, an index, and a middle finger, at least those three. Otherwise, you would not have the full IK, and you can't do things like bend your knees, or just crouch, or it, you will basically just be stiff as a board if you don't have it um, and make sure you have the right and left ones and you can do it correctly um, so once you do that you uh, simply hit up you to simply apply and done and which which we do and and that'll be it so once you do that you would want to uh put the armor the, the you want to put the, the avatar descriptor right on the uh head and the easiest way of finding it finding where the head is is to simply uh open up his armature find the head and add a say a 3d object say a sphere and then kind of trigger it down and and it will uh show you uh approximately where this head would be and i would put it right there all right that's cool good and just simply delete that head and just simply delete that sphere once you're done and you're done putting your um descriptor and you'll put all the other stuff there as well. All right, so now we get to the meat and the potatoes. So uh, if I just export it to, to Unity uh, without uh, doing this one little step, uh, it would be pretty stiff. It would have legs, legs move, but it, the head would, and the arms and stuff would be stiff as a board. Uh, it would not move whatsoever. So what you would do is you open up all your uh, 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 rename bone. So in this case is spine D, chest D, neck D, and head D. And you uh, and you simply select all these, and you add a component, and you add this rotation component, which are already did since so it's models that are that can only be, I can already play. Uh, this is one of the game. So, so what you do is check to see if it's uh, active, and you and you uh, give a plus and hit plus to the on the icon, and then you select say spine D. So you have D spine, and you would put in the spine slot. So you would pick the uh, spine from up here, and you put it down there where uh, it will follow, so it will have rotation. So you would do that for the chest as well, 
the neck and the head and whatever bones you want to be but where you want the the head to be where you want the uh, the bones to follow so what you're doing is you the uh, the di the dinosaur bones will be uh, mimicking uh, the human bones, which is just a skeleton and no other mesh associated with it. So that's the whole point of that. And and so so this thing is not the act. So the D is not the actual head, but it's going to be following the movements of the human head, neck, and stuff. So that's how that works. And once you're done, you just uh, go to the SDK and you go to your uh, build and just click build and do that sort of thing. Uh, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Ah, you made it to the end of the video. Hope you have any, uh, hope you learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment down below. Um, uh, like and subscribe so you don't miss any other video. Then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I make a new one. Um, and like the, like the video if you like it. Dislike if you don't. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.